Hey there, welcome back to Storytime. My name's Josh, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're ready to read a fun, exciting story. Because today, we're reading a Star Wars story. And it's called The Force Awakens. Some of you out there might have even seen the movie that came out recently. But we're going to read the little book version today. So let's go. Star Wars The Force Awakens Adapted by Christopher Nicholas Illustrated by Caleb Muir And Mickey Robes A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away I love that I love it how they start them with that 30 years after the fall of the evil empire An army known as the First Order Threatens to take over the galaxy General Leia Organa, leader of the Resistance needs to help restore peace. So Leia sends daring X-Wing pilot Poe Dameron and his faithful droid BB-8 on a special mission to find a map that leads to her brother, Luke Skywalker, the last of the Jedi. Poe and BB-8 travel to the planet Jakku, where they, ret where they retrieve the map from Leia's old friend, Lor Santeca. Suddenly, the First Order attacks. Commander Kylo Ren and an army of stormtroopers capture Law and Poe. Luckily, the pilot hid the map in BB-8 and sent the droid to find help. BB-8 escapes into the desert, but the droid is soon trapped by an angry Tito riding a lugger beast. A young scavenger named Ray. No, Ray. Feels bad for the droid and rescues BB-8. Ray doesn't have a family and BB-8 is clearly lost. So she agrees to let the droid stay with her. Wow, look over here, we got Kylo Ren. Ray there, BB-8. Do you know which side Kylo Ren's on? The dark side, that's right. Meanwhile, on board the First Order Star Destroyer, Kylo Ren uses the Force, a powerful energy field, to make Poe reveal that BB-8 has the map. The brave resistance pilot is about to give up hope when he is rescued by a stormtrooper, FN-2187. He doesn't want to fight for the First Order anymore and offers to help Poe escape. Look at them down here, chatting away. So he helps him escape. And Kylo Ren scarily using the Force. Poe and the stormtrooper climb into a, into a Special Forces TIE Fighter and blast off. So TIE Fighters. Uh, first Order ships, they're the bad guys. I'm calling you Finn. That alright? Poe says to FN2187. Because it's the F and the N, so Finn. Just then the Star Destroyer fires on the tie, sending Poe and Finn crashing down to Jakku. Finn can't find any sign of Poe among the TIE Fighter's wreckage, so he sets off and soon finds the pilot's droid and Ray at an outpost. Finn tells Ray about Poe and BB-8's special mission. For the resistance, suddenly stormtroopers appear and try to capture the trio. Oh no, stormtroopers everywhere! So Finn and Ray have, and BB-8 have to run away now. Finn, Ray and BB-8 race aboard an old space freighter and blast off. Does anyone know what that space freighter is up there? First order TIE fighters chase after them. As Finn climbs into the gunner's seat, Ray pilots the freighter through an old Star Destroyer wreck. Zoom! The heroes escape into space. Unfortunately, the freighter is damaged during the wild chase. Ray makes repairs while Finn asks BB-8 to reveal the location of the secret resistance base. Suddenly, the freighter is caught in a tractor beam and sucked into the cargo bay of a massive ship. Look over here, so a massive ship, track the beamers, pulling the ship in. Ray Finn and BB-8 hide under a grating, but they are quickly discovered by a tall man and a Wookiee. Who do you think that is? Who are these two? That's right, we're about to find out. It's Han Solo and his co-pilot Chewbacca, heroes of the Rebel Alliance that helped defeat the evil empire years ago. Chewie. We're home. Han says to his fairy friend, they are thrilled to finally have their stolen ship, the Millennium Falcon, back again. 
Rhett and Finn are eager to deliver BB-8 and the map to the Resistance base, but first Han and Chewbacca have to deal with some uninvited guests. The Kanji Club and the Guavian Death Gang. Uh-oh. Does Han and Chewie find themselves in a bit of trouble quite often? Because a lot of people don't like them for things that they've done to them. <laughs> Han owes both gangs money, and they are eager to collect. There you go. Ray wants to help, so she tries to close the blast doors and trap the gangs, but instead she accidentally releases Han and Chewie's cargo. Vicious creatures called Rathtars. It is just the distraction Han and Chewbacca need to make their escape. Together with Ray, Finn, and BB-8, they blast off in the Falcon. Meanwhile, Kylo Ren returns to the stronghold of the First Order, located on an ice planet, Starkiller Base. It's armed with a super weapon strong enough to destroy an entire solar system. Kylo Ren immediately reports to his master, Supreme Leader Snoke. He's scary. The droid we seek is aboard the Millennium Falcon, once again piloted by Han Solo, Snoke snarls. No one will stand in our way. That's my best Kylo Ren. He says no one will stand in our way. <laughs> he vows. Before flying to the Resistance base, Han Solo lands on the planet Takodana to get help from a friend, Maz. She's a wise old alien who lives in a grand castle. Maz tries to give Rey a special gift. Luke Skywalker's old lightsaber. A powerful laser sword. But when the young scavenger touches it, she has a vision of pain and suffering and runs off. So Maz asks Finn to take the lightsaber and keep it for Rey. That's Maz down there. She has the big eyes because she has the glasses on. She's super cool. A spy in Maz's castle alerts Kylo Ren, and soon the First Order stormtroopers attack. Rey puts up a brave fight, but is captured by Kylo Ren and taken aboard his transport. Han and Chewie fire their blasters at approaching stormtroopers. Finn ignites the lightsaber and joins the battle. Finn got a lightsaber out. Oh, got Luke's, Luke's lightsaber. Oh, that's so cool. Suddenly, a squadron of Resistance X-Wing fighters led by Poe Dameron zooms in and saves the day. Kylo Ren and his troops retreat to Starkiller base with Rey. Wow, so much happening here. So Kylo Ren is about to fight with Rey. And we got stormtroopers here firing away at Han and Chewie. And then Finn down here, he's got the lightsaber out, fighting away. Gotta hope they save the day. Back at the Resistance base, General Leia Organa and their team come up with a plan to destroy the Starkiller and rescue Rey. Han, Chewbacca, and Finn fly the Falcon to the First Order base and sneak inside. The trio quickly disable the Starkiller's shields, but as they try to find Rey's prison cell, they discover she has already escaped on her own. Reunited, the heroes begin placing explosive charges in the Starkiller's cooling system. So I'm on this page. Intense stuff. Suddenly a dark figure appears. Kylo Ren removes his helmet. That he is really Han and Leia's son, Ben Solo. Han begs Ben to leave the First Order and come home with him. But Kylo Ren has been turned to evil by Supreme Leader Snoke. The villain ignites his red lightsaber and sends his father tumbling down deep into a pit. Evil Kylo. Chewbacca fires his bowcaster, injuring Kylo Ren, yes, and giving the heroes a chance to escape. Let's look at all this over here. Wow. If you've seen the movie, that's a wild scene. Very, very sad. As Rey and Finn race across the frozen planet toward the Falcon, Kylo Ren catches up with them. The villain knocks Rey unconscious, but Finn wields... Luke Skywalker's lightsaber to protect his friend. Good job, Finn. Unfortunately, the former stormtrooper is no match for Kylo Ren and is quickly defeated. Kylo Ren's a very well, very well trained, very well trained with a lightsaber. But before Kylo Ren can deliver the final blow, Rey awakens and uses the force to levitate the blue lightsaber right into her hand. 
So she goes, and the lightsaber comes smack bang into her hand. And then she ignites it. With the force as her ally, the young scavenger reveals herself to be a powerful warrior. The lightsaber battle comes to a sudden end when explosions create a deep, cr deep crater between Rey and Kylo Ren. Chewbacca flies on the Millennium Falcon and helps Rey carry the injured Finn on board. The heroes blast off, just as Poe Dameron and his X-Wing squadron, squadron fire their torpedoes at the Starkiller. The First Order's super weapon is destroyed. Kaboom! They did it! Back at the Resistance base, BB-8 protects the star map to Luke Skywalker's location. Because they've still got to keep that hidden. They've still got to... Because he's been hidden, I'm sorry. They still... They need to work that out. Unfortunately, a crucial part is missing. Luke Skywalker's old astromech droid. R2-D2. Everyone knows R2-D2. I wish I could do the, the sound effects. Super cool. The R2-D2 suddenly reactivates and reveals the final piece of the map. Look, you can see it. It's like a little puzzle piece over here. Pops in there. Ray and Chewbacca blast off in the Millennium Falcon and follow the map to a beautiful planet covered by blue water and green islands. They land on a mountain. Ray climbs a stone staircase and meets a hooded figure. The figure lowers his hood, revealing the face of... Do you know who it is? What are you saying back there? Who is it? It is Luke Skywalker. Ray hands the Jedi Master his old lightsaber. <laughs> there has been an awakening in the Force, and young Ray knows that she has an exciting future ahead of her. There's Luke Skywalker down there. There we go. That's Star Wars The Force Awakens. Cool. Thanks so much for hanging out and reading another fun, awesome story. I love Star Wars. So that was really cool. I'll be seeing you next time. Hey, we're going to be reading another Star Wars story called The Last Jedi. Oh, that's the next one after this. Okay. There we go. Alrighty. Thank you so much for hanging out. And if you like reading these stories and you enjoy it, feel free to subscribe. Click that button. You'll be able to watch stories and read stories. You'll watch the stories. I'll, I'll, I'll read them. Ha, 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 ha.